my pal and I here are going to talk a little bit about some of the reasons why we think we're going to see an, even more of an increase in trade secrets litigation. The Defend Trade Secrets Act, which was enacted in 2016, and basically it put a lot of trade secret cases into federal court where there might be more consistent precedents. It also broadened the definition uh, that many states had of what a trade secret is, and it created other remedies. And over the years that it's been in place, we're seeing more of an uptick in trade secret litigation as juxtaposed with patent litigation. It may be that as more and more patents are found to be invalid, some of those patents are not receiving the protection that patent holders were hoping they would. Many of them may be choosing to keep their innovations as trade secrets. Uh, there are more and more new, more sophisticated technologies, and they're coming out faster and faster. Um, and then in addition to, uh, which, which causes um, some folks to think that they might need a shortcut, right? If there are a lot of competing companies in a really high-tech area, then it might be difficult to innovate on your own, and so there might be some temptation to take somebody else's trade secrets and use them. Uh, similar to that, the recession, uh, that is going to mean more employees leaving the workforce um, or moving from job to job, and that also creates the kind of environment where trade secrets could um, move from one company to another.